does that even mean, Bowers Game Corner? Ahoy there, YouTube. I'm back again today for another Bowers play. And today I'm very excited to be playing Don't Get Stabbed, the card game. This is for three to five players, ages 18 plus, take about 15 minutes to play. And we're going to be playing a three player version of the game, which means we will have two victims. They'll be these players right here. And then one killer. You'll know they're the killer because they'll have the Swiss burner foam. Also, when you start up the game, you're going to take as three stab cards per victim and shuffle them right into there we've already done this we got everything set up so the player to the left of the killer will go first which means this player so the as always on your first turn as always on every turn you're going to draw a card so we got a combo card if we get the matching combo of this we can turn those in and we can draw one of these which is called the card card which is how we'll win the game but slow down we'll get there so I also am going to look at the green part of the card, not the purple, because I am the victim. The killers use the purple card. First aid removes one stab, can be used at any time, and be given to anyone. That's very nice, but for right now, my turn is over. I can't do anything. Moving on to the next player. Those are our cards. Say I'll be right back. And once again, this is secrets. They wouldn't be showing all this stuff right here. Victim's turn is skip. Must be played at the start of your turn. Ooh, so I can do this before I grab a card, which would be very, very nice, because then I might not have to grab a stabbed card. But unfortunately, that's my whole turn, and then it gets over here to the killer. So they're going to draw a card. They got to investigate a strange noise. <laughs> I, like the, I like the artwork there. Uh, the killer shuffles the deck. That's not really going to help me right now, because I don't know where any of the stab cards are. So you know what? Turn over onto this player. Draw on a card. What do we got? Whoa, cell phone dies. Say I'll be right back. Nothing here. Nothing doing. Pass on to the next player. Next player turns. Get drunk. Okay, still not a match. Going on over to the killer right now. Ooh, they got another action card. What's this one do? Make a victim uh, lose all their action cards in their hand. Owie, owie, maui. So we're going to hold on to that one. We'll use that one a little bit later once one of these starts to get full, I do believe. So over here, they got to get drunk. Ooh, so they're getting close. They got three separate ones. All right, over here. They have to get drunk. Too bad they can't share cards. They got the have sex card right here. Okay, okay. All typical things you'd see in a horror movie. Once again, this is an ages 18 plus game. And we got a stab, but that's not who we want to get the stab. But luckily, if you're the killer and you draw a stab card, you get to put it back in this deck wherever you would like. So you know what? I really want to stab this guy right here. So I'm actually going to put it right at the top. And you know what I'm going to do? Icing on the cake. I'm going to play my menace card, make a victim lose all their action cards in their hand, which means... Boom, all these cards, splot out. Actually, oh, take that back. Only the action cards, not the combo cards. So essentially I'm saying, oh, you can't block this. Good thing I read that. So, my turn is over. This player is now going to draw the top card, and bada boom, they've been stabbed. They don't have anything to block it. They don't have kung fu, which means, owie, they are one step closer to dying. Because if you get three stab cards in front of you, you are out. Oof. And they lost their first aid. That's a bummer. So, that's unfortunate for them. They do nothing else. Moving on to this player. Let's see if they can have a good turn. Run up the stairs. Ah, oh, none of these match. They're not getting the matches they need. It goes back to the killer over here. Draw a card. And what do they get? View a victim's hand and steal the card of your choice. Very interesting. So, I'm looking. They have five cards right there. You know, I might hold on to this. I'm going to hold on to this just for a hot second. I'm going to load up on cards. So we go over here, this player right here. They got Investigate a Strange Noise. Oh, it's not a match still. Still not able to get a match. Their turn is over. Now to this player. Ooh, action card. The stab is blocked. Excellent. So if we do get stabbed, so this player's rocking a bang at hand right now. Over here, boom. Get lost. Not what we need, but... They're seeing that the, I think the killer sees how big this hand is, and they say, you know what? View a victim's hand and steal the card of your choice. I'm going to take one of your cards. So they take a look at this, and they say, let's see. Oh, yeah, playing dead? No, we're not going to do that. I think they steal that because they want them to get stabbed. So onto this player right here. If they get stabbed, they're in some real trouble right here. They did not. They got get lost, which once again doesn't match. Oh, my gosh. Terrible luck for the victims. Draw another card. Human shield. The stab is given to another victim of your choice. Chosen victim cannot block the stab if there are no other victims alive. This card blocks the stab. So, uh, ooh, not looking good for that player at all. But once again, no matches. We have not been able to draw any card cards so far. And uh, let's see. Say I'll be right back. Not going to help. Now, what do, we, what do we got here? The killer shuffles the deck. Make one victim draw two cards. If they draw a stab card, it cannot be blocked. Wow. So this player is pretty close to dead. I think I hold on to that. You know what? I think realistically, if this were your first time playing, 
you might be a little bit concerned if it's not someone making you lose a card. So I think you'd play the trap. I think you'd play it right nice. I'm not beating around the bush. Right here. So I'm going to draw two cards. First one. Second one. Oh, they both missed. Uh, it can be black. And these get discarded. So their turn, they will, they'll they'll make it over. All right. On to this player right here. Draw a card. Not a stab. Also, run up the stairs. They've got to have a match, right? They don't have a match. Six separate cards and no match. That's a deal breaker. That is a heartbreaker. All right. E so what do we got? Ooh, first aid removes one stab. Can be used any time and be given, can be given to any one. I think they hold on to that for now. They, they could be nice and get rid of that stab. But they're like, All right, we'll, 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 we'll wait until he's got two. We'll wait until he's got two. We're good for right now. On to the killer. What's the killer get? Stab! Dang it! So... I think the killer gets clever. They say, don't look. And they say, don't look. And so they place it one, two. So that'd be his card, his card, killer card. His card, his card, killer card. I think they're going to do it two rounds from now. So they know that that is coming. And, they, and they're going to, like, the victim's like, oh, my gosh, it's what's going to come. They probably assume it's right now, and it's not. They say, oh, it's run upstairs. Holy moly, I finally got a match. So they turn that in, and they draw a car card, and it is, oh, it's a dead battery. That stinks. That's one of the negative ones. We're looking for a C, an A, or an R. Let's say we got a dead battery, which goes, poop back on the bottom of the deck. That sucks. Ah. Okay, so uh, apparently you tripped, fell on your face when you tried to run up the stairs. This player, though. They're, they're getting a lot of action cards, which is great, but they really need these matches. Uh, so what do they got? Another first aid. And I think they say, you know what? I got two of them now. I'm going to be nice and say, all right, I'm going to remove that stab for you. I got you, buddy. I got you, buddy. And so now this goes back to the middle of the deck, just somewhere in the middle. And that's what the rules say to do. This player gets to put it wherever they want. These players, whenever they remove it for first aid or when they block it with Kung Fu, uh, just use the first aid. So he's using the first aid. That's his whole turn. Now it goes on to the killer. Killer's really annoyed right now. And they have Lurk. The killer draws two extra cards. Wow. Yeah, let's do that. No, that will mess up the, the, no, 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 that will mess up our thing. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. So, this player now. What do they got? What do they got? What do they got? They're like, is this a stab? It's still not a stab. And they have a first aid. They're pretty happy about that. Nice turn. This player right here. Get lost. Is that what they need? I think that's what they need. It's not what they need. Okay. And they're still, they're still pretty good. Haunted sheet. Yeah, that one's going <laughs> to get that, they get that player stabbed. All right. Draw on a card. What do we got? Menace. Make a victim lose all their action cards in their hand. And I think they say, I think they say, you know what? You've had too many action cards over there, buckaroo. We're going to get rid of them right now. So one, two, three. Ouch. Ouch. From the penthouse to the outhouse. Real fast. Over here. What's up? They're like, oh, no. Oh, there's a stab. It's coming. Uh, they can't do anything about it, but... What they can do is uh, fix it with first aid. Hey! So they still take it, but whew, right there. So the killer's like, ah, dang, but I bled out a card. It's good. So this player right here, drawing a card. It's a stab. They got nothing to block because their action cards are gone. All of a sudden, they're in the worst position at the table, going from the best to the worst whew, real fast. Think the killer is dead. They never are. I like the flavor text of the blast. Investigate a strange noise. It's probably just the wind, but still not what we're looking for here. Mm, they want to draw two extra cards? I think they do. I think they draw two extra cards. Cell phone dies and get drunk. None of them are matches, and they need three of a kind, not just two of a kind. All right, here we go. Over this player right here. Draw on a card. Ask who's there. That surely has to be a match. It's not. Definitely not a murder. <laughs> this player right here. Draw on a card. Have love making. Yeah, double up. Got a match on that one. Draw a card. It's an R, and so yes, this goes in the middle. Both of them get to use that R. That R is shared between the two of them. You don't have to get car all by yourself. You do share your stabs, though. You don't share your stabs, though. This is just my stab. On to this player right here. Drawing a card. It's a stab. They don't like that, and they're like, okay, you know what? We're going for that guy now. So he puts the two cards down, so this person will draw whatever, and this person will get stabbed. Love it. Uh, so this player right here. Picks up the card. It's a stab! Wow, unexpected stab. No action cards to play. Oh my god, it's a double stabbing. It's not looking good right there. It's not looking good. Holy guacamole. This player right here. It's another stab! And you know what? They say, oop, that's going right there. Second card down. And do they want to do anything else? 
the killer shuffles the deck. No, I don't shuffle the deck, by golly. So this player right here, they get a ask who's there. They've got a match. They've got an R. Oh, it's another R. So that's great if the killer removes one of their R's. But unfortunately, uh, they need C, A, and R. Not just R. You can't drive away in an R. You got to have a car. All right, over here, this player. Oh, no, they know it. They know it. Dead. Immediate. Dead. Ouchie. Out of the game. All these cards, bye-bye. Oof. That's, that's a herder. That is a real herder. Now, one thing I want to double check right here is what happens to these cards. I actually made a skip the rules video, and I'm scared because I don't think I mentioned it. <laughs> They're out of the game. Uh, they stay in front of them. They stay in front of them. I should probably mention that. So, over to this player now. And they are sitting in a really good position, I do believe, at this point. Uh, investigate a strange noise. Still, uh, so they got two of them now. This player goes, draws a card. What do they got? It's play dead. The stab is blocked. That's great. Nothing else is really going to help them. Draw a card. Cell phone dies. Two of those. Oh, it's not looking good. I feel like the killer is closing in right now. Cell phone dies. Boom. That's two. What do they got? It's a C. All they need is an A, and they are Audi 5000. Okay, here we go. It's a stab. They put it back on top. This player says, oh, gosh darn it. Uh, they can block it with the play dead, though, which means it goes back into the middle. Awesome. Doesn't really help him, but they they, they, they they blocked a stab. Right here, another stab. I wonder where he's going to put it. He knows he's taking it. Ow! It hurts. No cards still. This player draws a card. Uh, the killer draws two extra cards. Don't mind if I do, because one of them is stabbed. This is pretty much game over, but it's not. It's not. So play the lurk card. We got get drunk. Do we have three get drunks? We have two get drunks. We got to get lost. That's not helpful. All right, so what's the uh, the creep? View all the cards in a victim's hand. Do you really need to do that? Sure, I guess we'll do it. Cool stuff. Why would I do that? It's dumb. Sometimes you do dumb stuff in game, though. Who cares? All right. Uh, make love. Uh, not a match over here. Ask who's there. I think that's a match. Uh, I thought he had one already. No, he does not. Okay, so no match here. Over here. What's up? Stabbed. Dead. Bye-bye. Victims. <laughs> Lose the game. Killer is the winner. And that... That's how you play Don't Get Stabbed, the card game, the game where you get to kill your family and friends for Pretend for Bookie Mage Games. If you enjoy this content, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below. Also, give this a thumbs up. It really does help me out in the long run. And in the comments below, let me know. What is your favorite Stabber movie of all time? For me, personally, I'm an odd duck. I'm more of a uh, uh, Jason uh, uh, Camp Crystal Lake guy. Jason Voorhees. Wait, am I getting my names mixed up? I like the one where he's in New York. <laughs> I like the one where he's in New York. I, and then, but most of it, that, that movie was so dang misleading. Because the bottom line is, most of that movie took place not in New York, but like on a cruise ship. And that was fun. I enjoyed the trip on the cruise ship, but I just felt misled because I loved when we got into the big city. And I love when we see uh, these, these stabbers, but in like real life situations. Not like isolated on an island or in a abandoned summer camp. Or, oh, we're in an old rusty bicycle factory for whatever reason and no one's around. I like when they're in the city. I think it just makes it more real and better. But let me know in the comments below what's your favorite stabber movie of all time. It is always, thanks for your time, YouTube.